Hey guys and welcome back to another Woodbrew video. This week's video we're going to be making a modern desk for our office using minimal tools. Thank you Rockland for sponsoring this week's video and you can check out all the stuff we use down in the description below. Starting off, we are using our edge guide for the circular saw that I think comes with all, if not many, new circular saws to help make long rips. We are using it to help cut out our plywood strips that will become our top. We cut many, many, many strips, 29 to be exact. Next is our glue up. We are using Rockler's glue bottle with a glue roller and their Surefoot bar clamps. we had some trouble getting everything flush. With a little persuasion and after getting it up on the saw horses, we got it to be pretty close. So we did the first one that you guys just saw. We took it out and put it on the floor. Now we're moving on to the second one, but we found putting it on the saw horses works so much better because we can make everything flat easier because we can get bow on top and below it. So yeah, moving on to the second one, then we'll glue the two together. While Dylan is gluing the second half up, I want to mention that we are now working in our new shop. We have a couple videos of us renovating our office. If you want to check those out, you can click in the top right corner to go watch. To use as our cutting guide, we are using a Rockler straight edge that clamps onto your workpiece or your tabletop. This is a great alternative to purchasing a track saw. Again, all these products that I am mentioning in this video will all be linked down below. Right now we are cutting all the pieces we need to make our cabinet carcass. our two halves of our top and then so all we have to do tomorrow is put everything together. We did the best we could to get everything flushed and flat but there was only so much we could do. We, well Dylan, had to do a lot of planning. We wanted to share with you guys our struggles we had during this build because we aren't perfect builders and there are struggles and obstacles for every project. We just want to encourage people to get out and start making and we all go through difficult patches and figuring things out during a build so you're not alone. Next we are going through with a circular saw to make everything square and then we are going in with a sander to clean everything up. For finish we are using a triple thick polyurethane and I think we did about three or four coats on it. Next, we are cutting everything we need to assemble three drawers.
reason why we are putting pin nails and screws in is so the pin nails will hold everything together so we can go back and put screws in. about this piece is that there's no hardware needed. We are using a hand saw and a coping saw to create our drawer pulls. For our drawer slides, we are cutting out a groove in the cabinet where a piece connected to a drawer will slide through. It'll make sense in a minute, but we thought it would be a cool design aspect and again, no hardware needed. Here's another obstacle we ran into. Our coping saw wouldn't fit in our cut so we could cut away that piece so we tried a couple different methods. First we thought we could cut some extra strips down the piece that didn't matter and we could easily pull it out. That didn't really work. So then we grabbed a chisel and a hammer to create a breakaway point if that makes sense so when we went to break it out we wouldn't have any tear out. That seemed to work the best. Now we are going to start cutting out our door slides to the right size. Since these are skinny pieces, we are screwing down our material to our work surface. using a scrap piece and a piece of cardboard so we get the right distance between each drawer. taking out so much material that the front seemed to bend different directions, so we made a run to the store and grabbed a small trim piece to hold everything together. The cabinet and drawers will be one side of the desk base, so for the other side we are using 2 inch dowels for legs using a 2 inch Forstner bit to drill out an inch groove for the dowels to sit into. While Dylan drills the other hole with this quick to make jig to make sure we are drilling straight, I want to mention that we are building this desk entirely off grid. We are using our solar panels to power any corded tools and our drills have batteries. We didn't have power to the shop for a while and kind of got used to setting up our solar panels and not to mention how cool that is to be absorbing sunlight and turning it into energy. A lot more energy saving and eco-friendly projects coming soon.
You got it? Can you get in? That's gonna do it for this week's video and not only did we build this off grid but our material cost was only a hundred dollars two sheets of plywood was eighty dollars and dowels were twenty we do have plans available on our website link down below and thank you guys so much for watching i know this one was a little bit longer than normal but there was lots of detail see you guys in the next one